Welcome back, Bitter Creek Shenanigans. Um, we're out here making a new corral system for us. We had that old stuff that I showed in one of my other videos, and we're gonna turn that into something else that you'll be seeing soon. But we bought some new equipment. Got a new chute, well used, but new to us pretty much new, barely used. And we got some adjustable alleyways right here, the WW. Um, there's two of them. And we got this homemade palpation gate. It all came as a set. So we're not sure if we're gonna use this palpation gate or not, or if I can use it somehow, it'd be nice. But I don't know how we're gonna use it yet. But, so that's what we're working on today. I am gonna be trying to kind of make like a little tub with a gate here we have. So to make the tub, my, my, ugh, my idea is to put hinges on this post here and use this to kind of get them down into this area. And this will be, this gate here will be the outside and then we'll just kind of push them up into the alley going right where Jesse is and that will be the new system and then that's going to be like three we're going to have three holding pins so this big area here will be a holding pin and then behind the lean and then in the lean will be one of them so what I want to do is put a gate over here if I can. I don't know if I have a gate long enough. I might have to make one. But I want to put a gate on the corner of the lane right here going over this way. I was hoping it would latch onto this post, but it's going to be a pretty long gate. It'll be a long gate either way. So, I don't know what to do about that part yet. But, if you have any suggestions, let me know. But, that's kind of my idea so far. It's a work in progress. So, that's what I'm working on today. And hopefully I'll get a little bit done by myself. We'll see if I can get stuff set up. Josie is out of town seeing family. And she left me behind here to manage stuff. So we'll see if I hurt myself or not. <laughs> okay, so now I'm ready to hang this gate here. And it won't be all that hard to do because these things are adjustable. So that gives me quite a bit of wiggle room here. So I'm wanting to measure the top of this one and the bottom of this. And that is, what is that? Like 37 and a half. Close enough, 37 and a half. So, and then I come over here and, well, first let me measure the gate. It is a 50 inch gate roughly a little over and it needs to be about I don't know eight inches off the ground so right about to that nail so right there so 50 inches is right here so I'm gonna mark that right here so then I can put my hinges in once I know that.
I'll tell you what though, these Irwin bits, the daredevils, them things are freaking beasts. Them things suck that sucker in. You can't pull it out. It's crazy how strong, how good these bits are. They're really good bits. Okay, so I got the gate and my hinge, my hinge studs, I'm gonna call them, they aren't quite big, big enough for the holes on here. But I think it'll work. So let's uh, see what happens when I take this block out. Drops a little bit. Drops quite a bit actually. Yeah, it's a lot of play in it, but it might be okay. Of course, everything I have here is right in the way. Got my my hot iced tea. I'll just kick this out of the way. All right, got that stuff moved out of the way, and now let's see how it operates. about right here and I would think that this would be plenty I'll have to figure something out with that it's almost like the gate needs to be a circle it's still kind of like a tub wanting to use these bars and make some kind of contraption so that it won't so that they can't push back on me so it'll be pushing against these bars here like they can't you know like that something like a bar that might swivel or have a hinge on it something of that nature so that's the next thing or not the next thing that's probably one of the on here I can get kind of stuff set up and then I'll start putting some alleys over here some alleyways getting them set up all right Alright guys, so this is the alley that we pulled out from the house um, and I am going to try to turn this into a portable alleyway, portable corral type of deal. Um, so that is what the plan is. Right here on the back I'm going to extend it out. Oh, like five foot maybe and there will be a pin holding pins on each side of here and then on that in there we're gonna use the head gate off of this old chute to put right on there so I'm gonna cut this gate in half right here and this this side will be the gate for over here and then this piece over here will be the gate for right there. I'm pretty sure that's right in the middle. I haven't measured it, but I should probably do that before I go too much further. But it looks centered. But that is the plan for now. And then I, I'll go get some pipe so that I can make the extended piece on it. And then right here, right in here somewhere is where I'm gonna put the axle. And I have this old axle 
that I pulled off this old mower I found in a in a hedgerow. So I'm not sure how it's all gonna work quite yet, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna figure it out as I go. So yeah. The gate has been cut now. Now I gotta get some sucker rod for or some rebar. Or no, sucker rod. I was right the first time. Some sucker rod for this side. And then I can... Well, by then I'll probably have the box made on it. Or the extension part. So that will be a job for another day. Alright, now I'm going to cut the head gate off here. I just have to cut a few pieces of metal. A couple bolts down at the bottom here. And then I think it should come off. So let's do it to it. Head gate is off. Just had to use a little bit of pry bar to get her to come the rest of the way. You can kind of see where everything was attached. This is a really old homemade squeeze chute. And they bought a mighty handy head gate and put on it. It's it's pretty clever really. They use like a an old plow adjuster thing on it. And I mean it, it worked good for us for a little while, but we needed something a little more safer. It wouldn't really squeeze them down and didn't like the wood floor. Real slippery on them and it just wasn't really wasn't really strong built. Strong built very strong. See there's a bolt that already <laughs> we had that. Oh, thank goodness for steel toe. But we had this bolt come off one time when we were working them and this whole thing almost the whole cow just about jumped out of it. Could have been real bad, but luckily it didn't. And I got it locked in before she could get out. But yeah, so I'm glad we're done using this thing.